First Alert Weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, tennis fans out there, I'm sure they're excited for mm -hmm. that. I know it's happening over the next few days, so. Yeah, extended coverage yes. of the event here uh, mm -hmm. does us a favor. We get out a little bit earlier today to yeah. enjoy some of the beautiful weather. Beautiful. Gorgeous this morning. Temperatures love the start here in the mid to upper 50s. We've got fair skies looking off toward the south and east there, overlooking the Tennessee River. Again, I can't give you any hot air balloons this morning. What a weekend, though, for the Jubilee. I know on Saturday they did have a brief interruption because we did have a few storm cells popping up along the state line, also areas out to the northwest. And as you know, these late spring summertime storms, they can develop very rapidly. So when you're in a hot air balloon, the last thing you want to do is be anywhere in the vicinity of lightning or where lightning could be in a short matter of time. So a gorgeous start this morning. I'm guessing a ton of people coming out of the marina this morning out on area waterways. We just ran that story. Gina giving you some very helpful tips. Our fly breeze camera here looking at 565. This is the the lighter traffic volume, pretty desolate out there. Gorgeous look though out at Saturn 5 as well. We've got some cloud cover overhead, but we'll see some sunshine, especially early in the day and then by the afternoon. We'll start to see more cloud cover than sunshine. Checking temperatures across the lower 48 here, 61 in Minot, North Dakota. That's one of the warmest spots on the map, and that's usually the cold spot, especially during the winter months, of course. They could easily get down 20, 30 below, and that's not the wind chill. 48 this morning in Green Bay. We've got 50s in the Northeast, 60 Charlotte. It's been a pretty lousy holiday weekend for those in the mid Atlantic dealing with that center of low pressure. It's not a tropical system. It kind of had some uh, tropical characteristics looked incredible on the satellite. But of course, you know that those people's outdoor plans for the weekend would be ruined because of the amount of rain that they've seen. But 50s and 60s just about everywhere. 58 in Birmingham, Alex City, 56 in the Shoals, 62 below out to 64 in Memphis. So no matter where you are spending, your Memorial Day Monday, no matter what you're doing, all in all, should be a pretty pleasant day, especially for late May, almost June. A bit cooler towards Sand Mountain. You'll also see a little bit more cloud cover. You guys are closer to that center of low pressure, high of 76, 20% chance of a rogue shower or storm. But I really think everyone should stay dry. 78 through the metro, Athens, Decatur, out to Huntsville, and 79 in the Shoals, maybe even a crack at 80 degrees. Out the door forecast, uh, wear whatever makes you comfortable today, maybe even a light jacket. I've got some golf plans today, and I think I'll be wearing some form of an extra layer, at least for the first couple of holes before we gradually start to warm up. But even at lunchtime, just hanging out in the low to mid 70s, we'll see some of that passing cloud cover from time to time, especially into the afternoon. 2.30 here on future satellite and radar. We're looking at maybe a stray shower popping up, but the clouds starting to move in and that will limit our warming along with that north wind. But that north wind will also keep our humidity levels much more comfortable. Tomorrow morning, back to work in reality. A lot of kids done with school for the year. Obviously, congratulations to them. Now we start to feel the humidity creeping up a bit and then we start to see some isolated to even widely scattered showers and storms moving in for Tuesday. Temperatures continue to warm up for the rest of the week. In fact, by the end of the week, we're in the upper 80s, maybe even 90s by the weekend. I mentioned that center of low pressure right there now moving into the Virginias. It was off the coast of the Atlantic there, uh, plus the Gulf Stream current there. You know, that's uh, just providing that low with a ton of moisture, heavy rainfall. Uh, I mentioned mentioned this earlier, I saw a cruise ship uh, got kind of beat up out there with that low, but temperatures mid to upper 80s, more humidity by the end of the week. Weekend still dodging some isolated to scattered showers and storms.